alpha, beta, gamma are the roots of the equation x cube minus px square plus qx minus r equal to zero such that they are different and the determinant formed by first column alpha beta gamma second column alpha cube beta cube gamma cube third column alpha 4 minus 1 beta 4 minus 1 and gamma raised by 4 minus 1 equal to 0 then the options are P is equal to QR second Q is equal to PR third R is equal to PQ and the last option is none of these now alpha beta gamma are the roots of the equation x cube minus px square plus qx minus r equal to zero therefore alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to p and alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha equal to q and alpha beta gamma equal to r now the determinant alpha beta gamma alpha cube beta cube gamma cube alpha is per 4 minus 1 beta is per 4 minus 1 gamma is per 4 minus 1 equal to 0 it can be split into two parts that is alpha beta gamma alpha cube beta cube gamma cube alpha 4 beta 4 gamma 4 plus the determinant formed by alpha beta gamma alpha cube beta cube gamma cube minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 equal to 0 from the first determinant we can pull out alpha beta gamma common from first row second row and third row respectively we get alpha beta gamma times 1 alpha square alpha cube 1 beta square beta cube 1 gamma square gamma cube plus pulling out negative sign common we get minus 1 times alpha beta gamma in the first column alpha cube beta cube gamma cube in the second column 1 1 1 in the third column so from the first determinant we operate r1 goes to r1 minus r2 and r2 goes to r2 minus r3 we get alpha beta gamma times 0 alpha square minus beta square alpha cube minus beta cube 0 beta square minus gamma square and beta cube minus gamma cube 1 gamma square gamma cube in the third row minus here we find r1 minus r2 and r2 minus r3 again we get alpha minus beta alpha cube minus beta cube 0 beta minus gamma beta cube minus gamma cube 0 and the last row becomes gamma gamma cube 1 equal to 0 so the first determinant becomes alpha beta gamma alpha minus beta beta minus gamma times alpha plus beta times beta square plus beta gamma plus gamma square minus beta plus gamma times alpha square plus alpha beta plus beta square minus the second determinant becomes alpha minus beta into beta minus gamma times beta square plus beta gamma plus gamma square minus alpha square plus alpha beta plus beta square equal to zero and the value of the first determinant becomes alpha beta gamma times alpha minus beta 
beta minus gamma, gamma minus alpha times alpha beta, beta gamma plus gamma alpha. The second determinant becomes alpha minus beta minus times of course into beta minus gamma into gamma minus alpha into alpha plus beta plus gamma. Since alpha minus beta is not equal to zero, beta minus gamma not equal to zero, gamma minus alpha not equal to zero, as alpha, beta, gamma are different. We divide by these the product alpha minus beta, beta minus gamma and gamma minus alpha and obtain alpha beta gamma times alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha minus alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to zero which shows R into Q product of roots into sum of them taken two by two that is Q minus P equal to zero or in other words P is equal to QR which is option A.